The 11th Extraordinary Summit of the Bolivarian Alliance for the People of Our Americas Trade Agreement of the Peoples of the Americas, Alba TCP, and in Caracas, Venezuela. Islamic resistant movement Hamas announced that the Tel Aviv regime imposes new conditions for its fire in the Gaza Strip to continue its genocidal actions. In Pakistan, the death toll from several territories attacks spread out in the southwestern uh, Balochistan uh, province has risen to 39. Hello, welcome to From the South. I'm Ana Marrero from the Telesur headquarters in Caracas, Venezuela. We'll be good with the news. Stay with us. In Venezuela, the 11th Extraordinary Summit of the Bolivarian Alliance for the People of Our Americas Trade Agreement of the Peoples of the Americas and on Monday with a joint declaration of all its members. The meeting was attended by the Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda, Dominican Republic, St. Kitts and Navis, Grenada, St. Lucia, as well as the President of Bolivia, Cuba, Nicaragua and Venezuela. During the summit, President Nicolás Maduro thanked the representatives of the member states in the preparatory meeting of the Bloc's Council of Social Movements. The Alba TCP's final joint declaration expressed its support to the Venezuelan government and rejected the attacks carried out by the far right against the Venezuelan states. Through a communique, the regional bloc strongly condemned any coup d'etat or attempt coup d'etat as they constitutes a violent, illegal, and unconstitutional way that threatens democracy, peace, and life itself, as well as the destabilizing plans and actions promoted by the foreign factors with attempts to disregard the will of the peoples of Latin America and the Caribbean expressed democratically and legitimately at the ballot box. The document also denounced uh, the disregard uh, of the official results of the electoral process by violent and fascism sectors of the Venezuelan opposition that has openly requested interventionism and more sanctions for the country at uh, the expense of the Venezuelan people and which had already shown signs of its cum tensions by not signing the agreement for the respect of the electoral results provided by the Venezuelan governing body, the National Electoral Council. The Rionel Block also affirms once again that the American Caribbean is a zone of peace and demand the strict compliance with the obligation not to intervene directly or, in the, or indirectly in the internal affairs of any other state and to fully respect the inalienable right of every state of to choose its political, economic, social and cultural system as an essential request to guarantee peaceful coexistence among nations, peace and stability in our regions. The text reiterated in member states' determination to gather to defense to today more than ever the broader Venezuelan people from the tentacles of fascism and uh, raise uh, their voices to reject the interference, manipulation and imperialism, colonialism and Cuba in intentions to size uh, their legitimate uh, rights and uh, resources and which have caused so much harm to our people and ends uh, by sentencing that uh, defending Venezuela is to defend the dream of a union and brotherhood of our heroes and peoples. During the one-day meeting, several members of the regional bloc to the floor to express their support to Venezuela's elections results and their rejection to any interference in the, nation, in the nation's internal affairs. In his speech, the Venezuelan president, Nicolás Maduro, warned about a powerful outbreak of fascism not only in Latin America, but also in Europe and the U.S. Partners, first, prime ministers, presidents, it is very clear that there is an emergence a resumption of fascism, which some called neo-fascism, and it is right. Neo-fascism, it's okay, but undoubtedly, they have come here with the force, with the strength, with the force of hate, uh, of uh, recolonization and delivery of our countries to the United States of America. There is no doubt about it. Today, in Europe, in Latin America, in the United States of America, there is an outbreak, 
a powerful outbreak of fascism. It is a reality. During his speech, uh, the Alba TCP summit, Nicaraguan President Daniel Ortega accused European powers of institutionalizing fascism to dominate the world. Let's take a listen. Fascism became institutionalized because the European powers always fighting among themselves became the masters of the planet the masters of the African, Asian and American continents. For his part, Cuban President Miguel Díaz-Canel condemned the Cuban interference against Venezuela and praised the efforts of the Venezuelan people to overcome the sanctions and blockade imposed by the United States government. It is not the first time that the U.S. imperialism and the regional oligarchies showed rejection and content of the will of our peoples. It's not the, f it's not the first time that they try to defeat political process, processes against their interests because they favor the people. And so it is not possible to remain quiet ahead of these uh, oligarchies and the imperialism, imperialism and the assaults in communications against Venezuela. Today against Venezuela and tomorrow against any of our countries. On the other hand, Bolivian President Luis Arce expressed his total support and recognition to the Venezuelan Supreme Court's ruling on the results of the electoral process in the nation. We received recently the decision made by the uh, Venezuelan High Tribunal, which is validating the uh, result of the polls. Venezuela, Bolivia welcomed this decision. We ratified the will of the majority of the people and the strength of the Venezuelan institutions. The Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Raul Gonzalez, took the floor on behalf of the Black Six ESA Caribbean nations and reiterated groups full satisfaction with the result of the elections and reiterated support to President Nicolás Maduro. To reiterate our full satisfaction on all the processes which Deliver the result in the re election of Nicolas Maduro as the constitutionally elected president of the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. Also in Venezuela, the Electoral Commission of the Communes gave an update account of the development of the second popular consultation of remember that a democratic exercise was successfully developed. From the Office of the Minister of Popular Powers for the Communes, the Electoral Commission declared that the voting process in this second popular consultation was successful, achieving the activation of 100% of the polling stations nationwide. Let's take a very short break, but remember, you can now join us on our TikTok account as Telesur English, where you'll be able to see us in different formats, news updates, and more. Stay tuned for more news. Welcome back to From the South. The Islamic resistance movement Hamas denounced that the Tel Aviv regime imposed new conditions for ceasefire in the Gaza Strip to continue its uh, genocidal actions. After the negotiations, the Palestinian resistance group ratified its will and effort to stop the Israeli crimes in the Gaza Strip and indicate that they will not accept new conditions of the Israeli regime as they go against what uh, was uh, agreed in the last uh, meeting of July the 2nd. Hamas referred that any agreement with Tel Aviv must include a permanent 
Lebanon's ceasefire in the Gaza Strip, the withdrawal of Zionist troops, and the entry of humanitarian aid into the territory. In Palestine, patients uh, and the displaced are evacuating from the Alexa Martyrs Hospital in the site of the Israeli Occupation Army in the center of Gaza Strip. Zionist forces issue an uh, evacuation order nearby the hospital located in the near the, there at Bala and uh, th attack uh, surrounding buildings, uh, triggering panic among the population. Medical authorities reported they have admitted 650 patients in the hospital, but just 100 cases remain in the facility including seven in the intensive care units. I am injured and receiving treatment here in the hospital. Our homes were destroyed and I cannot move. They want us to evacuate. I am injured and I do not have a safe place to go to. Where could I possibly go? I am afraid that the hospital might be targeted. I cannot bear another injury. I would rather die than get injured again. I am paralyzed and cannot move my arms and legs. The Secretary General of the UN organization, Antonio Guterres, expressed his concern over the increase in number of exchange of fire across the border between Lebanon and Israel. Due to the hasty escalation of hostilities on both sides of the blue line, the head of the international organization, through a statement released by his spokesperson, expressed his concern over the significant number of deaths, displacements, material and environmental damage caused by the conflicts in both countries. In Pakistan, the death toll from several ter ter uh, terrorist attacks carried out on Monday in the southwestern uh, Baluchistan province is rising to 39. According to the provincial authorities, uh, the so-called uh, Baluchistan Liberation Army claimed responsibility for the terrorist attacks. Thousands of armed men uh, reportedly intercept several cars on a highway uh, connecting the Baluchistan and uh, Punjab regions and then shot at the passengers. Authorities also said that the group could be involved in other armed attacks in the country as well as in a railway bridge explosion. A Syrian President Bashar al-Assad addressed the new parliament on the situation in the country, its relationship with Turkey and other international issues. Regarding the nation's uh, prolonged uh, services of uh, relations with Turkey, the president said that uh, Syria had no problem in discussing the issues of refugees and terrorism raised by the Turkish officials. The stress uh, that uh, regaining the normal relations with Ankara will result from a withdrawal of the Turkish forces and that the solution uh, requires openness and not politeness. <laughs> What Turkish officials continuously declare is related to the issue of refugees and terrorism, while what Syria consistently declares is related to the withdrawal from Syrian territories and also the issue of terrorism. We do not believe that we have a problem with any of these four topics, whether they are Syrian or Turkish issues. There should not be a problem, according to what some Turkish officials have stated, with the Syrian issues as long as there are no bad intentions, as they say. When an agreement is reached on these topics, a joint statement should be issued through a meeting between the officials from both sides, at a level to be determined later. Let's take our last break, but before we invite you to visit our YouTube channel at Telesur English, where you'll be able to watch an interview, top stories, special broadcasts, and more. Hit the subscribe button and active the notification bell to stay up to date on the world's most recent events. One financial break, don't go away. Welcome back. French judicial authorities extend the detention of the Telegram CEO Pavel Durov after the, he was arrested at the Paris airport for alleged offenses uh, related to his messaging service. The French Agency for the Prevention of uh, Violence Against uh, Minors has issued an arrest warrant for Durov uh, as part of a preliminary investigation into alleged crimes, including uh, fraud, drug trafficking, cyberbully, organized crimes, and uh, promotion of terrorism.
Related to the Durov case, uh, former U.S. intelligence officers uh, Edward Snowden uh, expressed on a post on the social network X that the arrest of Durov is an assault on the basic human rights of speech and association. He also accused President Emmanuel Macron of stopping the level of taking hostages to gain access to private messages and informed that his arrest damaged not only the dignity of France but of the entire world. Moreover, the company said that Telegram CEO Pavel Drov has nothing to hide and that he travels frequently around Europe. They also state that Telegram complains with European legislation, including the law on digital services, and that its moderation is in line with the industry's standard and is constantly improving. In Germany, thousands of people demonstrate against the far right in the run up to general uh, to regional elections scheduled for September 1st in the eastern German states of uh, Thuringia and uh, Saxony. More than 30,000 people demonstrated in both regions a few days before the regional elections, in which, according to the polls, the German far right AFD parties on the race. The demonstrators protest during the defense of democracy and rejecting the, the presence of fascism in the German parliament. And moving on, on Monday, the Department of Disaster Prevention and Mitigation confirmed 22 fatalities due to the flash flus that have, that have been impacted in the country over the past 10 days. In this context, the authority informed that 10 of the federal victims were covered suddenly by the landslides of uh, Pocket Island last week, while uh, there are also 19 injured after the floods that have affected some 3,000 houses. The department warned that 31 provinces in the northern and northeastern region will be likely facing flash floods until Thursday as a tide of weather. The experts forecast that heavy monsoon rainfalls will continue throughout the week. As a result, authorities have urged people to be alert and be ready to evacuate if it's needed. This year, I feel like there is more flood water than ever. Our Sukhothai Thani municipality has made preliminary preparations, but we are still unable to block this enormous amount of flood water. When it rains heavily, the rainwater flows down from the mountains very strongly. Who would dare to stay at where our house is? They thought three out of four of us were dead due to the mudslide, but we survived. It was very deep at where we lived, but we survived. We have come to the end of this news brief, but you can find these and many other stories on our website at telesurenglish.net. You can also join us on our socials from Facebook, on X, and on Instagram as well. For Telesur English, I'm from the South of Manamarrero. Thank you for watching.